All right, Shalom family. I'm going to start off by saying all praises to the Most High. Uh, so this lesson is going to be on Jehovah's Witnesses. I call them the Jehovah's Wickedness because they're wicked. All right, so let's get into this article right here. Uh, Jehovah's Witnesses Watchtower building in Brooklyn suffered 340 million. All right. Now I want you to notice something here. CMI Group, Kushner Companies. Uh, if you don't know who Kushner Companies is owned by, it's owned by a man named Jared Kushner. He is the Donald Trump's son-in-law. He's married to uh, Ivanka Trump. All right. Let's read this article right quick. So the so the Jehovah's Witnesses sold their building. It was a huge building huge, worth a lot of money, all right, so uh, the real deal reported that the transaction is valued at $340 million, one of the largest ever deals closed in the borough, 739,000 square foot property, all right, so they sold this uh, to Kushner Companies, all right, for months there have been rumors that Kushner and Livewick would scoop up the headquarters alongside a, de a developable a developable site at 85 J Street for as much as 700 million. Okay, so that means they sold the that one building for 340 million, and then they sold another site for 700 million. Well, that's about that's some that's about a billion. That's a that's a billion dollars. So the Jehovah's Witness organization is a billion dollar company. So they tell you that they're poor and they need donations. But clearly they don't need no donations. Clearly, clearly they don't need any donations. All right. So uh, once again, it says, uh, let's see. So while the team paid three hundred forty million for the headquarters, they have yet to disclose the thirty-five thousand square foot site at eighty-five J Street. All right. Kushner and Lidwick are no strangers to the witness properties. Back in two thousand thirteen, they paid three hundred forty-five million for five buildings owned by the witnesses, and have since spent more than a hundred million gut rip renovating them into a 1 million square foot office campus known as Dumbo Heights. So that means in 2013, they also bought another building from them for $345 million. All right? So if you guys don't know who Jared Kushner is, let me show you who he is, okay? This is Jared Kushner, all right? He owns Kushner Companies. And as you can see, the building here, that he owns, all right? It says 666 Fifth Avenue. This is the building, and you read out here, it says, while the masses are unaware, the new kid on the block is making plans for 666 Fifth Avenue, New York, to force RFID chips upon uns unsuspecting humans. Now, this place is already up and going. They're already manufacturing the chips, and they're placing them inside humans already, all right? So this is the man who Joe's witnesses sold their building to, all right, Jared Kushner. Now, I'm going to get some scriptures to back this up, all right? I'm going to get some scriptures, and we're going to go into it. So we're going to go Revelation, uh, we're going to go 13, and we're going to start at 13, all right? And he does great wonders so that he make it fire come down from heaven on the earth inside of man. Uh, if you guys never heard of Project Blue Bean, you can look it up. Uh, so it, it pretty much uh, shows wonders in the sky. So they can make all types of things happen in the sky. Uh, that's what 9-11 was. I know this might sound uh, crazy, but those planes really didn't hit the building with Project Blue Bean. Uh, those, those planes were, were, uh, were, product, were products of Project, of Project Blue Bean. Uh, and those, those buildings were exploded with bombs. All right, uh, and he deceives them that dwell on earth by means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by his sword, and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many as would not watch the image should be killed. So that means, this, this is coming up in the future, uh, people. If you don't get this mark of the beast, which this RFID chip inside your hand, they're going to kill you. Now, a lot of dumb people are getting it just because. Because they think it's cool, it's, it's the latest technology. A lot of people are doing that. It's steps. So, if you got a new iPhone, the odds are you're going to get the new... You're going to get the chip because you're, you're fooled into technology. Alright? Now, 
This one is this, 16. And he calleth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. So that's a mark inside your right hand, all right? And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And this number is six hundred three score and six. That's six six six. So that means that this man, this man is going to be forcing people to put these chips or these marks inside their hands or inside their forehead. Alright? So let's get the picture again of Jerry Kushner, 666 Fifth Avenue. This building is the building that makes those RFID chips that they're going to put in your hand. All right? Now, this is the man who Jehovah's Witnesses sold their building to. All right? So that means they're getting, the Jehovah's Witnesses have money from this man here. They got his money. So that's, so, so they got the devil's money. All right? So they're tied up uh, with this man, you know. It, it's very wicked. Now let me get you another scripture. <clears throat> let me get you another scripture. Uh, this is going to be 2 Corinthians. Uh, let's see here. Second Corinthians, we're going to go chapter 11. And we're going to start at verse 13. Okay? 13. This is pertaining to the Jehovah's Witnesses, and not just them, a whole bunch of religions too. Okay. For such, for such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into the angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. I say again, let no man think me a fool, if otherwise yet as a fool receive me, that I may boast myself little. So, the Most High is telling you, don't be a fool. Don't be a fool. These people are, are, are disguising themselves as... Christ's apostles, angels of light, but really they, they work for the devil and they're deceiving you. Right? So I just showed you, I just showed you the scriptures. That's Revelation chapter 13. Right? And it was verse 6. Alright? Let's get it again. Okay, we're gonna go to Revelation. Now, I want you to understand how serious this is. This is at the end of the Bible. This is the end. And then I'm going to get into a video about the chips so you can see exactly what it is. A lot of people don't really understand it. So I'm going to break it down for you. Okay? So we're going to start at, I'm gonna get, let's get down to the bottom again. Uh, 16. And he calls all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Alright? So, once again, this man, Jerry Kushner, is manufacturing these chips that, that they're going to put inside your right hand. His number is 666, like it says in the scriptures right here, go all the way down. Let him that have, uh, let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is 600. Three score and six. That's six six six. All right. And once again, he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. All right. This is the man who who the JWs, the J uh, wickedness, sold their buildings to. Okay. It's right here. Here it is. They sold it for three hundred and forty million. They got some other properties that sold for seven hundred million in two thousand thirteen. They also sold another property for three hundred forty five million. That's a lot of money. That's billionaire status right there. So that so that religion 
is a billion dollar company. They fool the people by telling them it's a poor it's a poor company, but really they're freaking filthy rich. Now, when Jesus returned before, he was a poor man. He wasn't a billionaire. He wasn't a he was a poor man. He was preaching to the people. He was trying to he was trying to wake his people up, which were the Israelites. He was trying to wake his people up. He he's not gonna come as a billion dollar organization. It don't work that way. He's gonna come as a poor, as a poor humble man. This this religion is not poor and they're not humble. Alright? So now now let's prove it that this man, Jared Kushner right here, is already implementing these chips. You guys you should be seeing it, you know, because I see it. I see it everywhere. So let's go. And this is on Dr. Oz. Okay, check this out. Uh, so the latest breakthroughs. Turns, turns out, out one, of one of the biggest, biggest discoveries is actually this, this tiny, tiny small it is. This little chip, chip may be the, the next big thing. thing. And it, it sounds like it's right from a sci-fi movie, movie, movie where people all over the world are I'm implanting these into their wrists. So I asked my producer, Dean, to find out more about this cutting-edge technology and what it could mean for your health. Whether it's our smartphones, our watches, our fitness trackers, or our Bluetooth headphones, it's clear that technology is not just part of our lives, it's running them. It's how we buy things, watch things, how we date, stay safe, even how we travel. Paul? Cool. We're so attracted to our devices that they're basically becoming a part of our bodies. But what if they really could become a part of our bodies? Well, guess what? They can. Meet the RFID microchip. This tiny chip, which can be implanted into your wrist, yes, I did say wrist, uses short-range radio frequency identification, similar to the tech used to track your pets or your phone. Once implanted in your body, it could identify you as you pass through the airport, open the door to your home. It could even be used to buy groceries at the supermarket. Now, your driver's license, passport, keys, and wallet are all inside your body, contained in something the size of a grain of rice. I know it might sound like sci-fi, but it's not. 10,000 people have already been chipped, and the number is growing. The possibilities are limitless, especially when it comes to your health. Imagine your rush to the hospital without any identification, but with just one scan of your chip, doctors know your name, date of birth, medical history, insurance, blood type, allergies, even the medication you're taking. This chip in your wrist won't just change your life, one day it might just save it. And that's why this little RFID microchip is the next big thing. Well, there you have it, folks. The Mark of the Beast is now being promoted on Dr. Oz. So there you go. That's the Mark of the Beast. Once again, this man is responsible for it. This building in New York, look, 666 Fifth Avenue, New York, New York. All right? That's where he's making those RFID chips at. He's making them there. And they're going to, they're, now, if they only got 10,000 people, I mean, just think how much more they're going to get. And... Let me give you a scripture on that. Because if you get that chip, if you're a fool and you and you get that chip, you're a dead man basically. Not basically, you're a dead man. <clears throat> Alright, so let's gonna get I'm gonna get Revelations of uh, 14 and we're gonna start off at 9. Alright. And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or his hand the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his in indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb and the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever and they have no rest day or night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Alright? So now that's telling you if you get that chip, you're done. You're a dead man. There's no salvation for you. So you cannot get that chip and say, Oh, I know God. God knows me. And that's a lie. That's a lie. It's right here in the scriptures. And these are not my words. I'm reading directly from the scriptures. Alright? 
and I'm also showing you the, 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 the links of this man to the scriptures. This man is directly linked up to the scriptures. And the revelation is at the end of the Bible. So we're at the end right here. We're at the end. This stuff is coming next. It's already here. Okay, so these Jehovah Witnesses are they're, they're, they worship the devil and they're killing you. If they're on the streets, they're, they're trying to get you to join their cult. And what they're doing is they're killing you. They're murdering you by trying to get you to believe in this false doctrine, that this wicked doctrine. All right? This man is the devil. I don't know if you've ever seen his, his eyes, but his eyes are pitch black. He don't even have no white pupils in his eyes. It's, it's, it's pitch black. So he's married to Donald Trump's daughter, uh, Ivanka Trump. All right? Now, let me give some more, some more scriptures for you right quick pertaining to the Jehovah's Witnesses. We're going to go uh, St. Matthew, and we're going to go chapter 6. All right. <clears throat> Matthew. So these people, man, I'm telling you, they they are they something else. My family is Jehovah's Witnesses. My my wife's family, my on my side of the family, they're Jehovah's Witnesses. You can't tell them anything. I try to tell my brother this stuff. Nope, he he can't even look at it. The brainwashing goes so deep inside this religion that if you show them some facts, they'll they will they will they will run away from you. You know, just like they say in uh in Proverbs, I believe. The wicked flee when no man pursue it. They will flee from you so fast once you start bringing out the truth. They don't like to hear any scriptures. They only deal with people who have no knowledge of the Bible. So they'll go to your house, and if they find out you don't know nothing, that's what they want. They'll they'll start telling you, Jehovah, uh, uh, you know, you're going to live in peace and paradise forever. But really, they're lying to you. And be careful with these watchtowers they give you, never take their literature because because that literature has demonic images in it. And and you don't even have to go to one of their meetings because now they give you a piece of literature and that literature will go inside your house and there's 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 uh there's there's demonic images inside uh their watchtower and those manifest inside your house. Now I I can show you the proof on that too. I'm gonna show you the proof on that too. Alright? But Let's get a scripture right quick. Let's get Matthew uh, 6, and we're going to start at 5, okay? And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. So, when I was going to the meetings, uh, they start off with a song, and then they pray. In the synagogue. So a synagogue is just a, a building, right? Okay, so so the Most High is telling you here, when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to to pray standing in synagogues, and the Jehovah's Witnesses, they all stand up, and, they, and, and some brother prays for you. Straight wickedness, all right? So this is not my words. This is, the, this is the Most High's words. He's telling you that they are hypocrites, and for you not to be like them, all right? Let's keep going. But thou, but though, when thou prayest, enter into the closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to, the, to thy father, which is in secret, and thy father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. So that means when you pray, you're supposed to be alone. It's not, it's not a, a, uh, a show. It's not a show of, 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 of look, I'm praying. Now look at me praying. You're supposed to pray in secret. And these witnesses, they pray in the open in their in their synagogues. Alright? But when thou but thou you enter into your closet. Okay? Enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which see it in secret shall reward thee openly. Alright? So you see what it is here. You see what it is. But when you pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Alright? Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of before you ask him. So once again, 
This is a specific thing that these witnesses do. They pray in the churches inside their synagogues standing and they also pray on the street corners because when they go out service, they pray on the corners before they go walking out your door. You know? So, very wicked religion. Alright? So, I just want people to be aware of it. Alright? Now, I'm going to I'm gonna get into, into some other stuff right quick. Alright? We're going to go here. <clears throat> I got a file that I uh, open up a lot. I use... <clears throat> All right, so this is, these are these are copy and pasted watchtowers, correct? Right? Watchtowers, they're, they're images from their books, everything, right? Okay, so let's start off here. This watchtower right here, <clears throat> this is the free, this is a Freemason uh, cross right here. It's the Knights Templar cross. This is also the Knights Templar symbol also. This is their early watchtower. All right, this shows you that they're ran by the Freemasons. All right, now let's get something else right quick. Put this down. All right. <clears throat> now I want you to notice something here. Pyramids, Freemason pyramids, right? You see this the one uh, on the back of the dollar bill, right? This is Freemason, Freemasonry. This is who runs the world right now. They worship the devil, and all these um. Uh, Movie stars, like uh, this one dude, what's his name? Charles Gambino. He just did a video. He fooled the hell out of so-called black people, man. Man, people are so dumb. You know, they're like, oh, yeah, look at him. He's, he's trying to wake black people up. No, he's not. He's fooling you. He's fooling you. That man worshiped the devil. And you saw him at the Met Gala. He had the picture of this pyramid right here. Matter of fact, let me get that for you right quick. All right, let me see if I can get it up. <clears throat> Charles Gambino. Charles Gambino. Met Gala. Met Gala. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Here go some pictures for you right here. And this is that weak video that got freaking people fooled. People are, man, people are gone. All right? Now, this little stone up, Masonic symbols. It's ridiculous. He's throwing them up, and it's just, look at this, look at that, look at this finger right there, all right? Now, I'm going to show you something, okay? Watch this. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that finger right there. Look at that. You see that? You see this, right? Look at his finger. Look at his fingers. Right? Okay. Now, let's see if, let's see if I can get a, a picture of, of the back of his, uh, on the back of his his uh, his jacket. All right. Let me see. Uh, let's see if I can get this. <clears throat> oh, look at this one. He's throwing up another frequency. Look at that, man. It's wicked. So all these people are linked together. They're all linked together. Okay. They're all linked together with these demonic signs. So it shows you how how uh, how serious it gets. Alright? So now let's go back to this. Let's go back to this watchtower. So I just showed you the Freemasonry with the pyramids, right? Now let's go down. Look at this right here. This is a JW book. I, I, I used to read this book when I was a kid. Look, once again, see the pyramid. Alright? Now look at this. These men are straight wicked. Look at the hand right here. This is supposed to be Jesus, but Jesus, we all know, is a black man. Because the scriptures says it. It says his uh, feet were uh, the color of brass as they were burnt in a furnace. So there you go. All right. Now look at this. This is wicked right here. This is a, I, I had this book too. I used, to, I used to read it and look at the pictures when I was a kid. You see that picture right there? All right. Now we're going to go back. To this one again look at that don't that look similar this is J this is Jehovah Witness material all right and and to prove it to you I'm gonna give you the, the book and the page number all right now, th now once again this is Charles Terry Russell's earlier uh, writings once again you see the pyramid you see the pyramid in it 
right? Sun disc wings. They worship all these symbols, man. The worship of the sun, everything. All right. Now, here's Charles Taze Russell's uh, grave site. It's a pyramid, and it has the Knights of Templar on it, which is that cross. And he's buried in a in a, in a Freemason cemetery. All right. So the Jehovah Witness uh, religion is ran by Freemasons. They have all the occult symbols. Those seven uh, governing body members. They have the Freemasonry rings. If you look at their videos, they have the Freemason rings. All right. Now look at this. Now this is the book. Okay, here it is. Uh, it's the 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 knowledge that leads to everlasting life. It's on page thirty-five. Okay. So I had this book when I was a kid. So if you see right here, the boy is just sitting down. He's looking at somebody. But if you see in the back, it looks like there's rocks. But then when you take that picture and you mirror it. You come up with this freaking picture of a goat with horns. Alright? So this is Jehovah Witness material. And it gets worse. It gets worse. This is a watchtower. Now I did this off of their of the JW.org. You can go to JW.org right now and you can and you can get this off their website. It's there. And when you and when you uh, turn it to the left, you see this image right here. You see half of it. But see, that's what the uh, that's what the occults do. They they hide messages inside the literature, and you don't know what it is. And and now those those demons will will, will be inside your house, fooling you. All right. So this is it when it's mirrored. Look at this. All right. Now let's do some comparisons again. Look at this and look at that. You see, you see any difference? Same exact thing. Same exact thing right here. Look at that. That's wicked. Look at it. Look at the bigger picture. Look at this. Alright, you see that. Alright, let's go down. So once again, there's a lot more too. There's a lot more. There's a lot more. There's a whole bunch of different uh, books that have all these demonic images in it. You know, uh, so you got to be careful with these people. If you see them, do not take their literature. You know, if you don't have the uh, knowledge to bow them, just don't deal with them. Just be like, no, I'm sorry. And, and do not take their literature, I tell you. Now, this is a letter from, from Charles Taze Russell uh, saying that he's a Freemason. All right? I am very glad to have this particular opportunity of saying a word about some of the things in which we agree with our Masonic friends. Because we are speaking in a building dedicated to dedicated to Masonry, and we also are Masons, see, so Charles Chase Russell was saying that he's a Mason, I am a, I am a free Mason, I am a free and accepted Mason, if I may carry the matter to its full name, because that is what, what our Masonic brethren like to tell us, that they are free and accepted Masons, alright, so this is, this is a quote from Charles Taze Russell, Okay, he did this. He did it. Alright? Blessed are your eyes for they see. Not everybody has a hearing ear and for the seeing eye. It is only those who have come into this divine masonry that have the spiritual insight and this spiritual guidance and may know the things that are freely given unto us. It is something that is freely given to one class and not intended for anybody else. So pretty much what he's saying is they worship the devil. Alright? They worship the devil. And this is a letter of, uh, of, of them receiving the books from Johannes Grieber, who was a Satanist. Alright? So, you see these scriptures that I just read you. Now, let me get this out of here. Alright? And you see all these people right here worshiping the devil. So, Je the Jehovah's Witness organization is ran by the devil. Alright? And they're directly linked to Satan. They're directly linked to him. So uh, I hope somebody, you know, got something out of this. Uh, you know, uh, if you haven't heard about this stuff, research on your own. If you don't believe me, don't believe me. But go research yourself and come to your own understanding. But I just read you the scriptures about this whole thing. I just read you the scriptures. This uh, Jared Kushner guy, his number is 666. It says in the scriptures. Alright, so I hope you guys are edified from this. 
Uh, uh, if you know some JWs, show them this video. Let them see it. You know, you know what? I got one more thing too. Look at this. This is the area view of the Joe Witness building in Denmark. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Right? Now look at this. Look at that. Right? So Freemasons, their secret, they have a number of secret codes and signs. One of them is the pyramid. So you see a lot of actors and movie stars and music uh, and musicians wearing this pyramid. When you see them with this stuff, it means they sold their soul and they're, and they're, and they're paying homage to their uh, leader, the devil. Alright? So once again, you see that here. Look, this is the Jehovah Witness building in Denmark. Now let me show you another. Let me show you another one. All right. This is gay. And this is a man who has a. Uh, so this is a man who has a drone. And now this is the actual place. So you no, know, so uh, you, know, you can't say I photoshopped it, you know, or anything. So this is a uh, a man who's flew his drone over the place. All right. So let's get into it. So their whole, their whole building over here, or their whole, their whole property is shaped as a triangle pyramid, right? <laughs> shaped as a triangle pyramid, like right here. Look at that. They're freaking crazy with this. And people don't even see it. Like, you can't even tell these witnesses nothing about this stuff. They won't even look at it. They'll run from you. I've seen them run. i got family members. They cannot take this. They cannot take it. I told my brother he was in a cult. He hung up on me. <laughs> he hung up on me. He started, man, it's, it's, it's amazing. Now, it's sad because your own siblings and my family, they're, the most high is going to kill them. He's going to kill them. I just showed you, you know, I just showed you the uh, the actual scriptures. You know what I'm saying? I just showed you this. I just showed you the scriptures. So they're pretty much done. So let me get a recap right quick before I end this off. Joe's Witnesses. Sold their watchtower building in Brooklyn, sells it for three hundred forty million dollars to Kushner uh, Companies, right? Sold to the CMI Group Kushner Companies as a value of three hundred forty million dollars. They also sold another property for seven hundred million, and they also sold another property for three hundred forty-five million in two thousand thirteen. Okay, so Kushner, this company that the JW sold their building to is this man <clears throat> Jared <clears throat> oh, where you go Jared Kushner he's the he's the man who owns the uh, he's the man who owns the 666 building this man right here Jared Kushner so the Joe Witnesses sold their building to this man here and they also sold, and he also bought some other buildings from them. He also he also bought some other buildings from them. Uh, in uh, 2013, uh, Kushner and and Livewort are no strangers to the witnesses' properties. Back in 2013, they paid 345 million dollars for five buildings. So they sold him properties in 2013 also, right? So the Joe witnesses directly are receiving money from the devil. From this fool right here who owns 666 Fifth Avenue and is manufacturing the RFID chips. All right. Now I showed you. I showed you in uh, in Revelations where it tells you about the man who's uh, who's going to be 
implementing the chips on you, and his number is 666, uh, six, 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 300, 3 score to 6, right? Okay, so now, so now we got all this stuff going, all right? So let's, get, so now, let's get back to Revelations right quick. Revelations, boom, and we're going to go 13, 13, and we're going to go to <clears throat> down 18, it's the end. Here's wisdom, let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 600, 3 score 6, that's 666, six, six. alright, now, let's go to 16, and he called it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand, or in their foreheads, alright, that's Jared Kushner, this man right here, he owns the building, he manufactures the RFID chips right here, which are being implanted inside of people. And the number on the building is what? 666. Alright? So, this tells you right here that these Jehovah's Witnesses are wicked and they're directly uh, tied in with the devil. Alright? So, with that, I want to say Shalom. Uh, all praises to the Most High. I hope somebody gets something from this uh, video. Show it to your uh, friends. Show it to, uh, to your witness family if they... Look at it, because a lot of them will run. As soon as, you, as soon as you bring out some truth or some scripture, they'll run. They'll run on you, you know. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. So I want you guys to, uh, uh, if you don't believe me, research it for yourself. All right? So shalom on family. Everybody have a blessed uh, day. And uh, all praise to the Most High. Shalom.